Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Biotics Lab. And uh, today, I am sore. <laughs> I am, I'm feeling it from, from all of this, uh, this Beat Saber. Um, it's, it's uh, as I've said before, it's two hours of Beat Saber every day is what I'm doing. Which is roughly equivalent to two hours of jogging. And... You know, if, if you're a if you're a fit person, if you're active and and uh, living your best life, two hours of jogging is is definitely enough to to feel good about yourself, enough to keep yourself active and 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 well and good. But it's not enough to you know burn yourself out or wear yourself down or anything like that. When you're when you're living a primarily sedentary lifestyle and you move up to two hours of jogging, or in this case. Uh, two hours of Beat Saber, which is again roughly equivalent from a uh, um, like energy energy spent, you know. Um, it it does it does it does wear you down, you know. The the, the muscles, the the uh, they they weren't getting used before, and they are now. Well, we'll, we'll put it that way. Muscles I didn't even know I had are are being uh, thrust into action here, and it's it's strange because. I can do it, right? I can do two hours of Beat Saber every day, and yes, I'm I'm feeling sore and a little bit, uh, you know, worn out or whatever. But I can do two hours of Beat Saber a day. Like the only reason I stopped today um, was because I had to, because because I had to to go out and visit my grandparents. If it weren't for that, I I, I wouldn't have stopped. I would have continued going because the battery wasn't quite dead yet. Had another like twenty percent left on it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just, I just, I had to, uh, I had to leave, so I, I, I left, but I can continue going, and I could have gone for longer, like, I could, I could do hours of Beat Saber every day, I, it, physically, there's, there's nothing that would really be preventing that from happening, uh, besides, like, I would have to, like, eat something at some point, and, like, drink, and use the washroom and stuff, you know, but, like, I could do it forever. Right, like, like uh, there would there would never be anything that would be like, hey, you can't do this. Although I am sore, I am sore, but uh, it's because I've been doing two hours of it every day. And like I said, I, I was previously living a, a fairly sedentary lifestyle, so to to quickly move over to this very much so not sedentary lifestyle is uh, is like a shock on the body, you know. It's like a ton of fun, totally worth it, but uh, it's it's definitely I'm I'm feeling it, you know. I'm I'm feeling. That my body wasn't used to this before. Um, and I'm not gonna injure myself playing Beat Saber. That would be quite the way to go, you know. But uh, I am, I am definitely gonna. One sec, one sec. I have to blow my nose. Okay, okay. What were we talking about? Something about how I'm sore, right? Ended up getting distracted because I had like a shipment that came, and then I had a like a shipping slip thingy. And my mom wanted to know what it was. It's my cannabis delivery. So it should be some CBD oil and then some THC chocolate or something like that. And then we got into a discussion about that and stuff. She doesn't seem to be mad, but it doesn't really matter if she is or not to me anyway, so... Whatever. Um, so I don't remember what we were talking about. It's been, it's been a bit since I paused. It's been a bit since I paused. I, in fact, did not even blow my nose. But, uh, problem solved with time, I suppose. Um. Anyhoozle, anyhoozle, anyhoozle. We're talking about something being sore or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been, I've been doing two hours of Beat Saber every day and it's, I'm sore. But what more is there to say, really, right? What more is there to say? It's been good though, it's been good though. It's been uh, sleeping better, um, for sure. I'm feeling better throughout the day as well. Like, I, I don't feel so... I don't know, it's, it's it's a weird, like, two-fold thing. I've only been doing it for exercise, that is. <laughs> Pathetic as it sounds. Um, like, proper exercise. I've only been doing it for, for maybe a week now. Um, I've had it since... Uh, the 12th, so it's been four days since I got the uh, the Oculus Quest, and I was doing a little bit before then as well, um, but nothing nothing quite as 
intense as, uh, as Beat Saber, so that's saying something about what I was doing before. Um, but even, even on such a small scale like this, it's definitely having a noticeable impact on my life. Uh, and it's a weird one, because it helps me sleep. Which, um, you know, exercise paired with some CBD. Boy, howdy, I'm going to be having some good sleeps. <laughs> um, and then, uh, it, it also makes me less tired throughout the day, which is weird because it makes me more tired at night, but, but less tired throughout the day. It's, it's this weird amalgam of perfection, really. Um, and it's really nice. It's really nice. It, it's, it's, uh, like, you don't have to do much It's it, for, for that. I mean, I don't have much experience with that because I don't generally live a very active life until VR came in and, and was like, Hey, if you want to have fun, you have to be active. Um, but uh, uh, from, from, from what I've read and stuff and heard, you don't have to do much. You know, if you do 15 minutes a day or something like that every day, 15 minutes of, of something, you know, walking up and down the stairs or, or, or walking around or going for a jog or, or you know, 15 minutes of, of some kind of exercise that, that uh, gets you, you know, at least somewhat, you know, you want, you want to be sweating by the end of it. You don't have to be drenched in sweat. You want to be, you want to felt like you were active, you know, like walking to the fridge doesn't count as activity because you're not actually like sweating, you know, your heart rate's not really going up from that. You gotta get you gotta get that heart rate up, but uh, assuming you do do that, you know, you get that heart rate going, um, then uh, you're gonna be feeling good. Um, the, the the only issue is that it's really hard to motivate yourself to to do that at times, you know, because you're like, okay, yeah, it only takes 15 minutes, but I could be doing something I want to do with those 15 minutes, and uh, that's why I really, really, really love VR. And I can't shut up about it because it takes something that I need to do, but don't want to do, and and it just transforms it into something that I, I have an absolute blast doing. Um, so it, it's really like it, it, it's not an understatement to say that VR, the Oculus Quest 2, is 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 going to massively change my life and, and how I live my life and and like so many aspects around my life are going to have to change just because I bought this Oculus Quest 2, which I didn't really think about when I when I bought it, but it is it it, it was a a very life changing decision to have made. Which you know it's, it's just a uh, it's just, it's comparable to like a PS5 or an Xbox Series whatever thing or whatever, right? Like it, it's it's just a it's just a video game thing, you know. But it uh, it's gonna have such a, a huge effect on my life to 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 be having it and, and having that motivation to, to exercise and stuff which is, is really really nice um, but I have been I have been feeling it um, already both the negative side effects like being sore and stuff which typically I get sore throughout the end of the night and then I sleep and I, I feel fine when I wake up you know um, I might feel a little bit sore uh, while I'm going if I'm like taking a break and coming back to it or whatever I'm not I'm not hurting myself but uh, there is there is definitely a, sem a certain degree of where are you coming from? A certain degree of uh, pain <laughs> associated uh, with Beat Saber, which is uh, is funny because it's like I don't know it's just a total blast. I bought some uh, I bought some like music packs on it. I know you can. I talked about it in the last or a couple of episodes ago. Um, where I'm probably gonna have to get like custom songs and stuff on it. I know, I know that you can. I know you can. Um, but I bought some. I bought some of the the music packs because I mean, a I, I don't like piracy. If I if I have the opportunity to pay for something, I would rather pay for it personally. Um, I don't like like stealing stuff really. Some things you can't, right? Like some things you you can't buy reasonably right like like manga and and visual novels and stuff like that like i don't buy most of the ones that i read just because I don't, I don't have the money you know my the, the the choice that i'm making isn't between buying or not buying it's between reading or not reading you know and and to me i would rather read i do buy 
the ones that I like. I, I go back and I, I try to collect them as I go. I don't necessarily reread them, but I like to show my support to the authors who I enjoyed. Um, just to, to have that uh, feeling of it. And I think that that makes me a better customer than a lot of the people out there, just because I do make the effort to, to actually buy the products and stuff. But, you know, for, for some things, it's just not viable. And, and, you know, a lot of them aren't officially translated. So it's not even like I could go and buy them and then read them. Because um, I, I don't know Japanese yet. I know a little bit. I, I can read a little bit, but... Uh, I, I, I ser it's certainly, you know, maybe, maybe it would help me get there for sure, um, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not at the point yet where I can, I've, I've been really letting my, my Japanese um, practice go down as well, so I've, I've got to start, not quite from the beginning, but, but kind of, um, but uh, yeah, I, I can read some manga, uh, but not all of them, and I can't read every page in every manga, you know, like, I just, they're... I'm, I'm not at the point yet where I can, I can buy manga in Japanese and then, and then read it. Uh, and, like, I'm not even... I, I, uh... The, the other problem is that I also don't only read Japanese stuff, like I read Chinese stuff, I read Korean stuff, I read English stuff, I read I read stuff from, from all kinds of languages. I can't speak them all, you know? I can't read them all. I could learn, but at that point I'm not going to have the time to read them, so it's kind of like, you know, you don't, either way, you're not, you're not getting my money for, for all of those, per for all those reads, you know? These days I've been reading mostly free content anyway on Royal Road, which is a fantastic website. I've talked about it before. It's a wonderful website. Um, I have... I've, I've been talking about wanting to get my own thing going on it and, and start to, to write my own kind of... Uh, my own story. And uh, I'm... The thing is, is I want I want it to be unique. You know, like I want, I want the story that I write on uh, on any platform Royal Road is probably where I'll be doing it because I really respect what they're doing and I really appreciate it and I really like the website um, but I'll probably upload it to other places if it's uh, ends up being something that I really get into um, but I, I do want to do want to start writing because I, I like writing um, and it'll help with with being a DM as well so to have that extra creative outlet I think uh, but I, um, God, I'm just bad, dude. I'm bad. Uh, I've been thinking about how to make you, I've got a couple of ideas, you know, sloshing around in that old noggin. Um, I'm not a great writer. It's been 10 years since I last took a serious, like, attempt at, at writing a, a proper story. Like, 10 years. Um... It's not tenure, but ten years, you know, a decade since I last, uh, it's weird measuring things in decades now, it makes you feel old, um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been a while since, I'm not, I'm not, not, not necessarily a great writer, but it's, it's kind of one of those things, you know, among literally everything else in the world, but it's one of those things with everything else where, uh, the more you do it, the better you are at it, right? So if you want to get good at writing, you have to write. You don't, you don't get better at writing by studying how to write. I mean, you kind of do, but you also kind of don't. You know? It's kind of like, um... You, you, can te you can teach somebody how to play the piano, but you can never teach them how to be a good pianist. You know? That, that comes from... Your actual, genuine love of the piano, and, and actually... Well, not necessarily love, but dedication to it anyway. And, and actually taking feedback and, and listening to what other people are saying and and, and practicing a, a lot you know and then and then learning from your mistakes and and figuring out what works for you and, and kind of turning it into your own personal flourish you know which which yeah it's kind of kind of the same thing right like you can go to school all you want for for, for learning how to to be a writer to be an author or whatever um, it's never going to teach you how to write a book that people are actually going to enjoy, like, reading. You know, like, that That comes from 
actually doing it and, and writing and and uh, like doing it. You have to you have to do it. You you can only get so good by not doing something. And don't get me wrong, studying and and, and all of this is definitely very useful. But uh, like ultimately, the the difference between somebody who's really good at something and somebody who's really bad at something isn't how much they learned, but how much they've been doing it. You know. You can go to you can go to school for three years, and you'll be better than somebody who's been writing for three years. But you probably won't be better than somebody who's been writing for you know fifty years, and and never went to school for it. That's assuming a base level of like not stupidness, but you know, maybe that's too much to expect. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Anyway, I've got a couple of ideas sloshing around in the old noggin about. Uh, how to make it a little bit unique. I do want it to be uh, sort of the Isekai sort of thing and um, be like, you know, transported to another world and, and living there and you remember it and, and blah 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 blah. There, there are a couple of problems that I, I feel um, plague, well not really plague, but uh, affect um, like Isekai novels and stuff. Uh, so first up is they all start the same. Okay, every single one of them starts the same. You go to, you know, Isekai 1 and Isekai 3, you switch out their names in the first chapter. You have the same story. You have the same story. It's the same chapter. Okay, it's like a template. Okay, and I don't like that. After, you know, after 10, 20 chapters, you start to have the skills and the abilities and the personalities and stuff start to affect the story to a certain extent anyway. And uh, you have something that's a little bit more unique and a little bit more... It might be cliche or tropical, or tropical rather, as I've coined the term. Um, but, uh, hey. Might be tropical, cliche or whatever, you know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We somehow didn't die. But uh, at the very least, the characters are going to be doing things that might be unique. Um, they might be tackling problems in ways that are unique. It might be the same problems, but just a slight different variation on it, you know? Um, and that, that kind of makes it interesting. But those first few chapters are always exactly the same. They're always identical. And, and I, I don't... That's, that's something that I'm not super... You know, that's not something I'm a super big fan of, really, to be honest with you. And, uh, so I want to kind of work out how to make those first few chapters more interesting, more unique. And I think I have a, a couple of ideas for it, but I'm not sure. Um, it's hard to, it's hard to do when, when the, the concept of the story is something that's been done so many times before. You know, somebody gets transported to another world, you know, insert reason, death, random, God interrupts their work or whatever, you know. They win a lottery, whatever, you know. Insert reason why they're transported to another world. Okay, and then they uh, they wake up in the other world, and they are either aware of why they're here, or they aren't. And then uh, you kind of get the two branching paths there, but it's all the same stuff, you know, for the first couple of chapters. It's all the same stuff, it's identical. It's the same. And uh, if they aren't aware of why they're brought here or whatever, or even sometimes if they are aware, they generally speaking are like, you know, I want to, how do I get back? I got to find a way back. I got to, I got to get back to, to Richie. I got to get back to, to Janice. I got to get back to, to all these people who I love and cared for and blah, 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 my parents and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you know, valid complaints really, but I'm just sick of reading it. I'm sick of reading it, to be honest with you. So I want to avoid that. Um, with mine. I don't know when it's going to be like published, the first chapter or whatever. Um, when, it, when it is done, I'll, I'll let you guys know if it, if it ever does end up happening. I don't know. Got a couple of ideas sloshing around in there, but I gotta, I gotta finalize stuff and then get it on paper and be like, you know what? Yeah, I kind of like this or I don't like this very much. And I'll share it with you guys when it's done, but right now it's not. So I, just, I, got, I got ideas bonking around up in there. That's all it is right now. And I don't want to tell you what they are because I don't want to spoil nothing. And I also don't really know what the definitive stuff. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.